yo. You want to stand tall in any situation, fellas, good or bad. You know, <clears throat> got a couple more videos to do, so um, a couple pre-records, these dolos. I like to get these dolos out the way right along with the Patreon and going live. I'm a busy man when it comes to these videos, and I got my personal life, so fellas got to bear with me on a lot of shit. But you know, all this work packed up, backed up, all in with, within my publishing. Shit. Let's get it going, baby. Push this content right the fuck out. Like a motherfucker. But y'all already know what time it is. Video for education purposes only. Fair use only. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. It's very important. Go join the Patreon, fellas. Go get some of that band from YouTube shit that you cannot get on YouTube. Raw and uncut material. Five dollar tier. I ain't beating up your pockets. Go join the Patreon. Go to the description below my about section. Y'all know how to get at me. Everything's there. You dig? But um, let's get to it. I know a lot of you fellas, especially you young fellas, in your 20s, 30s, some in your 40s, you know, and you may not be where you want to be in life, or you may not have certain things going in life that you would desire to have going. You must understand, fellas, that you must work hard in any situation. You must work hard in any situation, fellas. This damn fucking Walmart diesel, I can't believe it's slowing down. Everybody, man, this is crazy. This is motherfucker I'm on this freeway. But you must work hard in any situation and stay on your grind. You work hard and stay on your grind in any situation, then things will work out for you. They will definitely work out for you. Consistency, fellas, is what keeps you uh, going. Consistency is what keeps you on point. Consistency is what keeps um, it's what keeps you knowing that eventually, someday, you will overcome your obstacles. Eventually, someday, you will reign tall. And, uh, I mean, you will stand tall and you will reign high in your situation. You must understand these things, fellas, because if you don't understand these things, then mentally you're going to find yourself being depressed. Mentally, you'll find yourself being down and out, thinking that nothing's going to work out and pan out for you in the right way. Understand that everything will pan out for you in the right way. If you um, be consistent with your grind, keep God first. I'm a strong believer in God, fellas. I'm, I don't go to church. No, I ain't stepped foot in the church since 1996, 97, if I can remember. I was about 14, 15, shit. I was getting ready, I was ready to put hands on the deacon, beat this motherfucking ass, man. Uh, me and my partner. The motherfucker was trying to chin check us and shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, tell us we couldn't do this, we couldn't do that. We we 14, 15. We've been in the streets since 12, 13 years old. We like, man, get the fuck out of here. The fuck. We already got a couple years in the streets. We the fought grown men. We the drew down on motherfuckers. We get into the bag and everything. And, you know, going to church with my mom, I'm like, I'm going to go ahead. She want me to go to church. You see, my life is in shambles. I'm fucked up at a young age. So, you know, my mom's and my auntie on my father's side, my my daddy's uh, oldest sister. She's get on the radio and shit on uh, Gospel 1590 out of Kansas City, Missouri, and uh, you know the radio station. You know, <clears throat> on Sundays, pray about family members and things that's going on. This was back in the 90s when shit was really fucked up before the camera days and social media and all that shit. 97, 96. 98-ish. Now, 98, I was in the Jew. I was in a uh, detention center. You ready? Yeah, 97, 96. I was fucking up, you know, and they was getting on the radio. I'm praying about my nephew. I'm praying about my son. They just put my name out there and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? The fuck is ratting on me, man? That's all I'm thinking about, you know what I'm saying? But 
not knowing that, you know, they had my best interest, man. And this was their way of calling out. Either going down in the projects and search for me and shit. I'm down there hustling. Fuck, we don't even stay down here no more. You back down in here hustling with it's the hood, you know what I'm saying? So, the fuck, they down there, what the fuck are you doing? You know, parents trying to get you out the shit, you know. I had both my parents trying to stop me, man, but still, I was, you know, I didn't give a fuck. I was doing me. So that goes to show you right there, nigga, shit. It's not always your parents or your upbringing, it's who you are, too. You know, that's possible, because it was who I, you know, my mom tried to stop me, you know. My father, you know, but hey, shit. I seen that fast money. I said I couldn't do that shit. But yeah, man, you know, but uh, like I was saying, man, uh, I believe in God, man. I'm just spiritually inclined like that. Because I've been to prison and been through a lot of things to where I had to, um, I had to come to God. I had to get on my knees and pray. You know, and and things start opening up for me, fellas. That's how I knew God was real. Cause it's true, it's real, bro. Don't, don't I'm telling you we're real. I'm telling you, bro. You know, I'm just an average human being like you fellas. I got permanent gold teeth in my motherfucking mouth. I got it at the age of fuck. Eight, seventeen, eighteen years old. Yeah. Eighteen, eighteen birthday or something. You know, hustling this shit. So you know, been through my ups and downs like a motherfucker, you know. Came to God, I had to come to God moment, man. And I, I, I begged him, man, show me the right way, show me the things I need to do to get out of here, and I will change my life. He put the crack cocaine law, the federal crack cocaine law, start getting big in 2006, 2007. He put that in my face. Biggest day. Everybody that I was in state prison with was getting out, still selling drugs, called federal bids, and they was doing fucking football numbers 20 25 30 years getting caught with an eight ball quarter half an ounce of crack you know and i'm like what the fuck this is this real that's it i start seeing it it started coming things start being revealed in my face classes certain um classes i need to take advantage of to um actually help myself and uplift myself start opening up you know, and trades and shit start opening up. I already had my GED and all that, so I went in for trade, went in for cost, started taking advantage of this shit. And while I was taking advantage of them things, I was busy learning. And while I was busy learning, I didn't have time for the bullshit anymore because I was progressing to go forward. And the parole board seen that, they opened the doors and let me out. But I prayed for that. I asked God to show me and reveal things to me and what do I need to do. And that shit came. So I ain't motherfucker. I'm strongly. I, I believe in God. I ain't dumb, bro. Fuck that shit. There's something out there, man, that will put your ass to test and will put you to work. Something. I believe it's God. I, I'm calling it God. Shit, that's why I was raised to call God, but it, it's God. You know what I'm saying? Or the universe, you know? Came back. It, it, oh, that's God, you know? Shit, science or whatever. Oh, that's God. Everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. But um, I believe in God and I stood strong, fellas. And by me staying strong, I overcame a lot of obstacles. That's all you got to do, fellas. In some cases, I mean, in a lot of, in every case, I believe, you know what I'm saying? If you're an atheist, then you're, I don't know what to really tell you. You know, if you're Unitarian, you believe in the universe. That's just like believing in God. It, what I mean, whatever religion you claim or um, you fall up under for your, um, for your mental and spiritual safety purposes. Call out. And stand on what you're calling out. And know that things are going to change when you call it out. And be ready for it. And sit back and watch the show. But play your position and keep working. Keep grinding and call it out. And all that shit, man. And everything will come to, it'll come to fruition. You're going to get it. Fellas, you know, any good or bad situation, man, you know what I'm saying? I always call out, man. I always talk to God, man. There's someone bigger than us, man. There's something, a supreme being is something bigger than us. You know, call out and start talking, man. You don't got to enter a church or a mosque or any. You don't got to be a part of a congregation or nothing. Just treat people right. Call out and, and do what you got to do that's right pushing forward. Stay out of bullshit and everything will come to you.
I promise you. You know, like these videos, share them, and subscribe, fellas. You already know it's the message. It's gonna always be the message. That was my little story, story time with KC. You know, and just to show you guys, whatever you've been through, I've been through it ten times worse. Whatever you think you're going through, hell, I may be going through it. I already been through it ten times worse. Trust me, and I'm still here. <laughs> With a big smile, Kool-Aid smile. Right? Because I understand life. Holla. And go join that Patreon. Yeah.